This video aims to teach about the foramen of a skull from the superior view found in the anterior, middle and posterior cranial fossa. You will need a pen and paper as it is hoped that you will draw along in order to gain the most from this experience. Coloured pencils and pens are optional. It is hoped that you will be able to understand the relations of the skull foramina and to appreciate the structures that pass through by the end of this video tutorial. Draw an oval shape to represent the skull and then using two lines separate the skull into its fossa. The most superior section will represent the anterior cranial fossa. The section in between the two lines will represent the middle cranial fossa and the most inferior section will represent the posterior cranial fossa. First of all we are going to focus on the anterior cranial fossa. We're going to draw the two foramen that are found there. So if you can copy this. First of all we are going to focus on the most superior which is the foramen cecum. Now the foramen cecum is actually only found in 1% of the population and in life it can transmit an emissary vein which will drain the nasal cavity into the superior sagittal sinus. Next we're going to focus on the cribriform plate which contains foramina which transmits the sensory nerve fibres from the nasal mucosa transmitting smell to the olfactory bulb of cranial nerve 1. Next we're going to go on to discuss the middle cranial fossa. We're going to draw on the foramen that are found here. There are six, first of all the optic canal, the superior orbital fissure. Next we're going to draw the foramen rotundum, the foramen ovale, foramen spinosum and the foramen lacerum. Each foramina of the middle cranial fossa has a partner which is found on the opposite side of the skull. First of all we're going to talk about the optic canal. Now the optic canal actually transmits two structures into the orbit. The first structure is cranial nerve number two which is the optic nerve and the next structure is the ophthalmic artery. So there's two structures and quite a good way of remembering that there are two is the fact that there's cranial nerve two which is a bit of a hint or a reminder that there's two structures. Next we're going to discuss the superior orbital fissure. Now the superior orbital fissure transmit structures from the cranial cavity through into the orbit and there's five structures. First of all the cranial nerve number three which is the oculomotor nerve which will supply muscles of that move the eye. Next you've got cranial nerve number four which is the trochlear nerve and it too will also innervate muscles that move the eye. Next you have cranial nerve number five and specifically you have the first division of the cranial nerve number five which is the trigeminal nerve and the first division is called the ophthalmic nerve and we've got cranial nerve number six which is the abducent nerve. The fifth structure that passes through the superior orbital fissure is the superior ophthalmic vein and quite a good way to remember all the structures that pass through the superior orbital fissure is that they are all in some way related to the eye. So every structure that is not the optic nerve is going through the superior orbital fissure. Next we have the foramen rotundum. Now the foramen rotundum only transmits one structure and it is cranial nerve number five second division. So the second division of trigeminal nerve which is known as the maxillary nerve. The next foramen we're going to discuss is the foramen ovale. It's quite a good mnemonic to be able to remember the structures that pass through the foramen ovale and it is the actual word itself, so O-V-A-L-E for ovale. So first of all you've got the otic ganglion, so O-T-I-C, I made a typo here and put in a P, so just ignore that. Next you've got the third division of the trigeminal nerve, which is cranial nerve number five, which is known as the mandibular division. So that's V3. So next you have A, so accessory meningeal artery. And then next you have L, which stands for um, the lesser petrosal nerve, which is actually a branch of the glossopharyngeal nerve. And then you have E, which stands for emissary veins. Now it can be quite complicated 
trying to remember all three divisions of the trigeminal nerve because they don't go through the same um, same foramen. It's quite a good way of being able to remember this is a mnemonic for standing room only. And so how you remember this is the first letters of standing room only. So S, R, O represent these foramen. So you have S representing the superior orbital fissure, which is the first division. So the ophthalmic division. Then you've got R for rotundum, which is second division. And then you've got o, o for ovale, which is the third division. Next, we're going to talk about the foramen spinosum. Now, the foramen spinosum is found more lateral than the other foramina of the middle cranial fossa, and it transmits the middle meningeal artery, which is a branch of the maxillary artery. And it also transmits the meningeal branch of the third division, division of the trigeminal nerve, so the mandibular division of cranial nerve 5. Quite a good way to be able to remember this is um, MMA. So think of MMA fighters, mixed martial arts fighters, so middle meningeal artery. And if you can think about them, when they fight someone, they break someone's spine. So that's spinosum. So MMA fighters breaking someone's spine. So that's how I try and remember this. Now, the two I'm pointing at here are the frame and lace room. I'm not going to focus too much on those today because I'm going to focus on them in another video. Now, the posterior cranial fossa, I'm going to go and draw the frame and magnum. Then I'm going to draw the internal acoustic meatus, the jugular foramen, and then the hypoglossal canal. So... First of all, we're going to discuss the internal acoustic meatus. Now, the internal acoustic meatus transmits two um, cranial nerves. Cranial nerve, <coughs> cranial nerve 7, which is the facial nerve, and cranial nerve 8, which is the vestibulocochlear nerve. Okay, now it also transmits the labyrinth artery, but quite a good way of remembering what goes through is to think of the ear looks like the number eight, and if you think of acoustic, so do that kind of remember eight, so you'll remember that the vestibulocochlear goes through there. Next foramen we're going to look at is the jugular foramen. Now the jugular foramen transmits three cranial nerves, which are cranial nerves 9 to 11. And quite a good way of remembering this is if you were in America and you were going to ring the cops, you would dial uh, and call 911. And that's quite a good way of remembering 911 is its cranial nerves 9 to 11. It also transmits the internal jugular vein. And the internal jugular vein runs alongside the internal carotid artery and it is the main venous drainage for the skull and the cranium. Next of all, we're going to look at the hypoglossal canal. Now the hypoglossal canal is found either side quite close to the foramen magnum uh, and it transmits only one cranial nerve which is cranial nerve number 12, the hypoglossal nerve. Next we're going to have a look at the foramen magnum. Now the foramen magnum transmits a few structures. It's the biggest um, foramen of the skull First of all, it transmits the spinal roots of cranial nerve 11, which is the spinal accessory nerve. It also transmits the anterior and posterior spinal arteries. The next structure that passes through the frame and magnum is the spinal cord, specifically the medulla oblongata portion. Um, next that will pass through is the vertebral arteries. That now completes our look at the frame of the skull, specifically from a superior view of the anterior, middle and posterior fossa. I hope that you find this video tutorial useful. 
please uh, feel free to explore the rest of the website where there's more information and if you'd like to download a printed copy of the completed tutorial to put up on your wall or put, use it as a revision guide, please explore the further resources tab. Thank you.